everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tone's Talk Show. But um, but um, I'm your host, Tone France, and today we're gonna learn why Evan doesn't shower, where little Johnny got Danny, and much, much more. So stick around. All right, let's jump right into things and answer some questions, shall we? Our first question comes from Jillian Fryer, who asks. How do you get shots with more than one character? Like in Trevor Tries facing his fears when Kevin and Trevor were doing the bee thing. Well, in that video specifically, my uncle was the other beekeeper. He actually had some bees and he let me film with him. But when you do see my face next to another character with my same face, it's usually done on a green screen. Or it's done like this. Okay, so in the trick or treat video, we have Ned screaming. <laughs> but he's screaming in an empty space. That's where Michael Myers is supposed to be. Michael Myers, of course, was played by Richard, who was played by me, just like Ned is also played by me. So how did I do this? Well, I recorded the same shot in the same location, but dressed as Michael Myers. And then I just put this clip over top of the other one. And then I have to crop it so that the Ned clip is also showing while the Michael Myers clip is there. <laughs> now obviously this is a very rough cut, but you see what I'm trying to do here. It's not perfect, but if I mess around with the lighting a little bit, I could make it almost seamless. That's right! I don't have an identical twin. I just know some editing tricks. Our next question is from Spider-Man Fan 2012, who asks, how did you do the Nerf War on the beach? Cause it was only you and no one else in the background. And on the farm, did you rent those out, buy them? What happened there? Or are you so rich that you own the barn? <laughs> well, I am not rich, but I'll tell you how I got to film in those awesome locations. If you want to film a video that's not in your house, try going to a public park or a public beach like I did for Nerf Wars 3. Usually people don't make a big fuss about it, they just stare at you with a weird look on their face. But I've gotten used to that. Now for the farm for Nerf Wars 4, I actually knew someone who owned that farm and I asked for permission to film there. So, the short answer is, find a public place or Ask someone if you can film on their property. A lot of times, they'll say yes, but the key is to ask. Mr. Creator gives me a super thanks. Thank you. But he asks two questions. Will Evan ever play Roblox? The answer there is yes, probably. And how did you come up with all of the characters' names? Honestly, most of the time, the names are just the first thing that popped into my head. Like Trevor and Richard, they were just random names from people I knew in high school. But for a character like Kevin, I obviously wanted a name that sounded similar to Evan. So Kevin, Evan, you know, makes sense. But for the most part, they're just random names that I thought of for these characters. And the name Billy, it just rhymed with silly. And I wanted Billy to be a silly character. Okay, let's move on. Colton Nichols asks, do you ever plan to make a movie? I think that would be really interesting. Honestly, I would love to make a Tone France movie that I could premiere on YouTube. Make it like an hour or an hour and a half? That would be awesome. But the problem is, filming a video that's that long will take a lot of hard work. The baseball video from last week was only 15 minutes. That took me an entire day. From 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., I was out filming on a baseball field. It takes way too long to film a 15-minute video. I can't imagine how long it would take to film an hour-long video. But you never know. It's still a possibility. Okay, next question. Sam Car Collection asks, Who would I like to hang out with from all of my characters? Kevin seems like he would be the nicest person to hang out with, but I feel like the horse thing would get a little weird. So Richard would probably be the one who would be the least weird to hang out with. I feel like we would just sit there in silence and stare at each other. But speaking of Richard, let's welcome him out to the stage right now. Come on out, Richard. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. All right, Richard, take a seat. We've got some questions for you. Whatever. Epic Troll Gaming asks, why does Richard hate almost everything? Because nothing in this world interests me. Everything is made up. Oh geez, here we go again with that conspiracy. <laughs> it's not a conspiracy, it's real. You're playing me. Okay, well, follow up question to that then. Normal Pope asks, how are you so calm about everything being made up? I mean, it was shocking at first, but somehow I've always known. 
Everybody looks like me. It wasn't that hard to figure out. Okay, this topic is confusing me, so let's move away from it, shall we? Han Chunson asks, what kind of pranks are you going to do on your show? <laughs> well, last time we pranked Evan by stealing his lizard and snake and then getting his arch nemesis Seven involved. But I have big plans for next week because next week is, get ready for this, Pranksgiving. Oh, that's clever. So are you going to be pranking everyone? You'll have to wait and find out, but yes. Awesome! Dask asks, if one of the characters was your friend, which one would it be? Kevin, because he annoys me the least, but he's still weird. Gotcha! Well, Slender the Arrival Pro asks, what does Richard hate the most? Showing emotions. Oh, and Trevor. <laughs> Funny oh. joke, Rich! <laughs> Shut up! <sighs> And there he is. I guess that's my cue to leave. No, Richard, please don't leave. We can answer together like bros. Too late, Trevor. He's already gone. Take a seat. <sighs> Richard is just too funny, isn't he? You gotta love that guy. <laughs> Aiden asks, why is Trevor so obsessed with being Richard's friend? Okay, obsessed is a very strong word. I just like Richard. He's cool, I'm cool. We're like a dynamic duo. We work well together. Right. Well, I'm not sure if he likes you as much as you like him. Kinda like your dad. Xavier Sanchez asks a long one, but basically your question is, why do you love your dad, but he doesn't love you back? My dad loves me a lot. He just has a weird way of showing it. Yeah, he pushes me around a little bit, but that just makes me a tougher person. Yeah, he definitely pushes you a lot. Katie Ivy asks, how many hours do you work out each day? I don't know, probably like 25 or 26 hours a day. But there's only 24 hours in a day. Oh, uh, well, I make it work, cause I'm the best. I don't even wanna ask. TRB Ninjago asks, why is Trevor so cocky and egotistical? His overconfidence is really annoying. What? Me? Cocky? Yeah, right. I'm the most chill person in the world. Yeah, sometimes I brag a little bit, but that's just because I'm the best person ever and I get all the girls. Radiator4k asks, why do you think you get all the girls? Because apparently he called Sally and she said she doesn't like you. She actually likes Kevin. Kevin? Seriously? No, 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 no. Sally is my girl. She just uh, doesn't know it yet. She would never choose that dumb cowboy over me. Aw, oh, come on. That ain't nice, Trevor. Everyone, please welcome Kevin. Trevor, you can leave now. But don't you have more questions for me? Nope, I wanna ask Kevin some questions. Whatever, I'm gonna go call up my girlfriend, Sally. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Kevin. Your first question comes from Pro Bastion Master who asks, why are you always happy? Well, my mama always used to say, a smile a day keeps the rainy days away. So I try to spread kindness and I hope that kindness comes back to me. Wow. That's wonderful. Though that is a bit hard with my friend group. Most of them are pretty miserable sometimes. Okay, next question. A Sabino asks, what's your horse's names? Oh, I love this question. There's Michelle, Pinkie Pie, Pretzel, Steve, Bessie, Flicka, Rosie. Okay, okay, I think we get it. John Graham asks, why are you a cowboy and not a pro gamer? Because you're so good at it. Oh shoot, I ain't that good at video games. My brother Evan is good, not me. But we all saw how great you were at Lego Indiana Jones. You're a natural, Kevin. Well, maybe I'll have to give gaming another try then. That's great to hear. Janice asks an interesting question. Do you and Kevin have a cousin? I think my dad does have a brother, but we've never met him. So it's possible that I do have a cousin out there somewhere. Hmm. Interesting. MTL asks, if you got a series, would it have a name like Kevin's Kindness or something like that? Ooh, now that's not a bad idea. Kevin's Kindness. Kevin spreads kindness. 
Hmm, could you excuse me for a moment? I want to write this stuff down. I think I have an idea. Kindness with Kevin. Thanks for stopping by, Kevin. Okay, our next guest is a little devil, and he brought his little friend with him. Everyone, please give a warm welcome to Little Johnny and Danny. Hi, everyone. Yes, clap for me, you fools. Come, take a seat. We've got a lot of questions for you guys. Oh boy, we love questions, don't we, Danny? No. James Monroe asks, where did you get Danny at? And why do you say he's not a puppet? I am not a puppet, you swine! I am a shark! That would be like me calling you a human. Okay, uh, where did you guys meet? Oh, well a mysterious man gave him to me one day. He said that Danny was looking for the dumbest person in town so that he could corrupt their minds. And Danny chose me! Alright, Bonnie Lover asks, why do you love Danny so much? Because he helps me get what I want. I would be nothing without Danny. That's true, boy. And don't you forget it. I won't. Hockey Kid asks a long one, but he wants to know what your strategy is for the next Nerf War. To have fun. No, we will not be having fun. We will be dominating. I know everyone's weakness. My family and I have been training for this war for months now. We'll be ready when the time comes. The Ice Den asks Danny, will you have more revenge? Oh yes, sweet revenge is coming. There will be unlimited pain. The worst is yet to come. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough of you two for this episode. You can leave now. Okay, bye bye Danny, you did great! I always do. All right, I think that's the cue to stop asking the characters questions and start asking me some questions again. This question was interesting. Pokemon FNAF asks, what is your favorite Funko Pop? Let me go grab it real quick. I literally just found this the other day and I loved it. So I'm a huge Disney Parks fan. I've been to Disney probably like three or four times this year, and I love the Tower of Terror. If you haven't been on that ride, you gotta go on it, it's awesome. And I just found this in a random toy shop in Long Island. It's a Funko Pop of Mickey Mouse dressed as a bellhop from the Tower of Terror, and it comes with this little model of the Tower of Terror. I'm not a huge Funko Pop guy anymore. I used to be when Star Wars The Force Awakens came out. You've definitely seen my Funko Pops in other videos. I collected a lot of Star Wars ones over the years, but I've kind of grown out of the hobby. But when I saw this, I could not pass it up. It's awesome. All right, next question. Kate Shook asks, why don't you feature your girlfriend in some of your videos? Well, she doesn't love acting, but sometimes she does film for me. For example, in the Outer Banks video, she actually held the camera and filmed for me on the beach. But even though she's not in the videos, she's really supportive of what I do on this channel, which is crazy because I do some weird stuff. Jacqueline Holland asks, how do you become so popular on YouTube? There's a couple different answers to this, but I'm gonna do the cliche one first. Film with whatever you have. If you have a phone or an iPad, you have a camera right here. Film with it, and then eventually, when you get good enough at filming with this, move to a professional camera and professional lighting. And then after that, try and upgrade to a better camera. For me, myself, I'm already looking at a different camera and a new microphone and some new lights because all of those things that I have currently are horrible and I wanna be the best I can be. But the short answer is, and this is a tip that I haven't seen anywhere on YouTube, but it's worked wonders for me, is post as consistently as possible and post YouTube shorts. It's kind of obvious when you think about it because it gets pushed out to so many people on YouTube every single day. That's how I gained so many subscribers. If I was just posting normal content without the YouTube shorts, I don't think I would have even hit 100,000 subscribers yet. Now, Lachlan asks, do I have a job besides YouTube? So the answer to this is I used to. I had a job up until June of this year and then something happened where I actually had to leave the job. So to make a long story short, I posted on YouTube more often to see if I could actually make this a full-time career and turns out I can. So for now, I'm just doing YouTube full-time until I find a new job that sparks my interest. But if I had a job, I would not be able to post as much as I do now. Let's be honest. Piggy Roblox Skits asks, what's my favorite video from Sleepover of Chaos to the present? This answer is definitely gonna shock some people, but my favorite YouTube video that I've posted on this channel is actually 
Trevor tries bonding with his dad. It's just a fun little story where Trevor's trying to make his dad say I love you to his son. And that's one that I actually filmed with my friends and I had such a great time doing it. We went to a Mets game, we went to a basketball court, we went to an Applebee's and we filmed in all of them. All right, you guys have heard enough of me. Let's welcome another guest, shall we? He's the hungriest guy in town. Everyone, please welcome Billy. Hi. Thank you, thank you! <laughs> and I ate before I came here, so I'm actually not hungry! Oh, that's too bad, because I ordered Pizza Hut. I'll just cancel the order. No, please don't! I think I still have some room in my tummy for Pizza Hut. I didn't actually order Pizza Hut, Billy. Oh man! But your first question is about Pizza Hut. It's a two-parter. Lance Queso asks, why does Billy like Pizza Hut so much? And why are you so silly? Okay, first of all, I'm not silly. I'm goofy. There's a big difference. And second, Pizza Hut is just the best. It's always been there when I needed it the most. Plus, its pizza is just really, really good. And I'm not too sure about that, Billy, but sure, whatever you say. It is. You all saw the episode of Billy Eats Pizza Hut vs. Domino's. Pizza Hut won. Speaking of Billy Eats, Nitro Shade YT asks, what is your favorite Billy Eats episode so far? Well, I liked the Pizza Hut one because I got to eat my favorite food of all time. But I also really liked the Halloween candy one because we tried a new system out and I got to eat so much candy. It was awesome. Yeah, you sure did. I really did. Anyway, Boston Tea Party asks, what's so bad about Good Boy Camp? Oh, Good Boy Camp is a terrible, awful place. Never go there. They make you hug each other and sing songs and they don't even give you real food. They just make you eat vegetables. <laughs> oh man, that sounds like a nightmare. It is. All right, Billy, one more question for you. From Kalista Entertainment. Why do you always wear your shirt backwards? What? It's backwards? Oh, look at that. It is backwards. <laughs> I never knew that. You've been told this many times before, Billy. Oh, I guess I just keep forgetting. <laughs> but from now on, I'm going to wear my shirt the right way because I'll remember. No, he won't. Yeah, you're probably right. I already forgot what we were talking about. <laughs> Okay, bye! <laughs> and that's Billy for you. You never know what he's gonna say. But let's bring out another wild card, shall we? He's everyone's least favorite turtle, and he's the smelliest guy around. Please welcome Evan. Bam! Oh, shut up, all of you. Sit down, Evan, so we can get through this interview. Well, hello to you, too. Jeez. That Thomas the Tank Engine editor asks, why do you like lizards so much? Because they're my spirit animal. We think the same, we behave the same, you smell the same. Hey, no we do not. I smell nothing like a lizard. <sighs> Augusto Hernandez asks, when will you ever take a shower? I don't need a shower. It takes way too long. It distracts from my gaming. I'm a professional gamer, you know. Yeah, right. Noel Madrid asks, why is Evan so weird? Weird? <laughs> I am not weird. They're probably getting me confused with my twin brother, Kevin. Now he's the weird one. No, I'm pretty sure Noel meant to say your name. Anyway, Currency King asks, why is Evan a turtle? I am not a turtle. I don't know where that rumor came from. I don't have a shell and I don't look anything like a turtle, right? And next question. Oof Barber asks, why does your dad hate you but like your brother? My dad likes us both equally. No, 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 Evan. I like Kevin so much more than I like you. Oh, but dad, that's not true, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> dad, wait. <laughs> I'm so glad he's gone. Let's welcome our next guest. He's a nerd and he's annoying. Please welcome Ned. Salutations! Seriously? Why doesn't anyone clap? Hi, Ned. I'm gonna ask you some questions, okay? 
Oh boy, I hope they're brain teasers. They aren't. Cool Kid Gaming asks, what's your favorite book? The dictionary. There are so many spectacular words in there. Every time I turn the page, it's like a new adventure. Zach asks, why does Ned like studying and being a nerd? <sighs> Just because I like studying, that does not make me a nerd. I study so that I can get good grades so that my parents will love me. You live a sad life, Ned. Sultan Asher asks, what's Ned's deepest, darkest secret? Oh dear, uh, my mother isn't here, right? No? Well, uh, there was this one time where I got an A- minus on a test, so I asked Richard if he could use a pen to turn it into an A+. I never told my mom about this, so please don't tell her. Don't worry, Ned. I won't. Hashim Akhtar asks, why does Ned hate Pajama Day? Because school is not a place to wear comfy clothes. I believe everyone should go to school in a dress shirt and a bow tie. That way it saves them from getting distracted. Learning is important. David Weller asks, why did you get a girlfriend if you're a nerd and a tattletale? I'm not a nerd. My girlfriend loves me for me. Knowledge is power. She broke up with you, didn't she? Yes. She said I was too nerdy. Why did you have to bring it up? <laughs> okay, let's move on to our final guest. He's the hero of all of these stories. Please give a warm welcome to the main character. What's up, guys? Come on over, we've got a lot to talk about. I'm ready to answer anything. Awesome. The first question is from Dominic, who asks, who is your best friend? Well, I like Kevin a lot, and Richard is fun to hang out with, sometimes, but Billy and I have been friends forever, so Billy would probably be my best friend. Speaking of Billy, Carlo Rubio asks, why does your mom hate Billy? What did he do to your mom? Oh, well, she tends to over-exaggerate, but I think she- I do not over-exaggerate. Billy is just a horrible influence on my child. Every time he gets in trouble, Billy is always at the center of it. Mom, this is my time. Get out of here. You need better friends. Well, that was awkward. Why don't you ever bring your dad around? Diego asks, will we ever see your dad in a video one day? Well, he hates my mom a lot. So he barely comes to this town anymore. I hardly ever see him, but maybe one day. Well, hopefully we can make that happen one day. Now, we have one final question for you, and it's the big one. Mike, and pretty much everyone else, asks, what is your name? Oh my gosh, we still haven't answered this. It's... Well, what is it? I'm waiting for some sort of interruption. There isn't one this time. Just answer the question. The fans want to know. All right, here it goes. My name is... Uh... Uh... He doesn't have a name. That's ridiculous, Richard. Everyone has a name. <laughs> yeah, Richard, that's crazy. <laughs> All right then, what's your name? It's... Uh... Uh... Um, exactly. You don't know, because Tone never gave you one. You were just made up by him, dude. Richard? <laughs> what? That's not true. I have a name. It's... It's... Oh my gosh. I don't have one. I need to go home. <laughs> Alright guys, well, I guess that's our show. But before you click away, I still have some fan art that I want to share. All of these were sent to me on Instagram. This one was made by Boomer from YT. And this one's from Stacy Wright. And this one is from Luke at SML Core. And this is awesome. It's the logo for Richard's favorite band, Exploded Coffin drawn by the real Taco Man. Awesome work, guys! If anyone else has fan art or just wants to send me a message, feel free to reach out at Tone France on Instagram. And don't forget to follow. That's our show, ladies and gentlemen. If you have a question you want answered on episode four, leave a comment down below and maybe it'll get picked. Thanks for watching Tone's Talk Show. Ba -dum -ba -dum. See ya!